Hi again. Uh, here we are to continue um, with our with our rating label um, custom rating label class, right? And uh, what we want to do now is we want to measure the the location of your finger on the screen uh, across the label. That is right. So um, so we've got touches began, and this prints out you know where you first make contact with the screen. Okay. Let's check out touches moved now. Okay, so what, what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to set this option so the lines don't wrap. There we go. That'll read a little better. Okay, um, next what we're going to do is we're just going to copy these three lines right here and we can put them in touch as moved because these methods are essentially the same. You know, they take the same parameters. Um, this one just happens more often, right? This only happens at the beginning, right? So we'll do this and then we'll... Uh, We'll test it again. So now when I tap, I get 26.5. And then as I drag my finger across the screen, you can see the numbers increase or they go down. So you'll see that touch is moved is only called when my finger changes position. So it's not getting called now. I don't see the numbers flashing by, but as I move, all, all of a sudden they start showing up again. Okay, so touch is moved is only called when your when your finger changes position, right? Okay, you can also see that I, I've duplicated code like exactly the same in two places. Why don't we work on that? Why don't we fix that? Let's make a function that says, you know, um, like we'll call it show rating. Okay, and what we want to do is we want to show a rating for the the x location right so we want to figure out like what the rating is for the x location right so let's call it um show rating four and then we'll say location i don't know right and then this will be a um what is this thing let's go check out what this guy is i'm going to click on this oh it's a cg point so so locate the touch touch dot location in view um, is a, returns a CG point. Why don't we just pass that point over to show rating, right? For location, right? And then what we can do here is we can just do, um, you know, uh, we can just print the, the X of the location there, right? And then we can call this method from our touches began and touches moved, and then that'll kind of abstract a lot of this duplicated code away. And we'll do it this way. We'll just say, hey, um, you know, uh, show rating for location. And our location is named location. And then we can do the same thing here. And then now when we add more code, we can put it up here in show rating. And we don't have to duplicate it inside these two methods down here at the bottom. OK, so um, so that's pretty good. OK. So now our next step is, is this, right? Before we can figure out what to do here, what we need to do is we need to figure out how many stars we're going to have. Okay, so let's say we're going to have five stars. And then what we need to do is we need to, um, we need to, to divide the width of our UI label by the number of stars to get the unit here to find out how wide or, or what what, what the width of each region is going to be, okay? So, um, so what we need to do is we need to make a variable. Let's call it, um, let's call it uh, unit. I don't know, right? Okay. And then we'll set it equal to a CG float. Now, um, this location, when it gives us the X and Y on the screen, any, any measurement of the screen, the width of something, the height of something, the X and Y, it's always a CG float. I, I guess that stands for computer graphics float, right? So anything that's, you know, drawing something on the screen has to be a CG float. Let's just set it to zero to begin with, okay? So next what we need to do is we need to um, set the width of... Uh, or set the, the unit here, right, by the number of stars that we have, right? So we're going to divide the width of our UI label by the number of stars. So let's make a constant for, um, 
uh, we'll call it total stars equals um, five. How about that, right? What did it make? It made it an int, right? Yeah, I guess we could cast this as a C or, you know, uh, set the type here as a CG float, and then we could divide one by the other later. You'll see, you'll see how that works out, but maybe we'll just leave this as an int, okay? So we'll say let total stars equals five, okay? So now we have a problem because at some point we need to figure out how wide this is, divide it by this number, and set the value to unit. Okay, now the thing is, um, since our label is built in storyboard, um, we can't always get the width of the label. We have to get the width of the label after storyboard creates the label and any constraints are applied to it to resize it to fit it to different size screens like iPhone 6 versus 6 Plus, right? And there's a method for that, um, and it's now I'm trying to remember what is it called? It's uh, um, what is it? It's like will, or is it did layout? No, it's now I can't. I'm having a brain. Um, yeah, layout subviews. Okay, that's the one, right? So I'm going to add this method here. It says override layout subviews, and anytime we override a method. We need to call that method in our super class. So we'll say super dot layout subviews. Okay. And so now when we laid out the subviews, now you know storyboard and constraints have been applied to our um, to our view. And what we can do is now we can get the width of the view and then divide it by the number of stars and set that as our unit. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll get the width. So we'll say let width equal and now the width isn't available directly we have to get it through the frame so we'll say frame dot width okay and then what we can do is we can say unit equals um, width divided by um, total stars now width is going to be a CG float and unit is a CG float but um, total stars is an int, okay? So, so we can't divide an int or a, a CG float by an int, right? So what we'll have to do here is we'll have to say CG float divided, uh, you know, uh, you know, cast total stars as CG float, and then now it's a CG float. We got a CG float. We can do math with those two, and they return a CG float, and then we can set this, to, which is also a CG float, okay? Okay, great. So uh, so there's our unit, right? And now, why don't we do this inside show rating four? What we'll do is we'll say, hey, you know, um, you know, let's take the x right here, and then divide by the unit, and then print that number out. Okay, and then we'll want to actually round this down too. So I'm going to put it here. I'm going to say. Uh, you know, location x divided by our unit. And then what I want to do is I want to take that number and round it down. Actually, let's take a look at it before we, we round down there. Oh, man, do I have an error? Oh, no, it went away. Good. Let's see. Oh, look. So there's, there's one star up until about here. And now there's... This is over one, so now we're in the second star. And then this is star number two, and then number three and four, right? Okay. We're actually counting zero, one, two, three, four, right? Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to take this and round it down to the, to the whole number. So what we can do is we can say floor, okay? And the floor method means just round down. There's also a round method, but it would round up after 0.5, right? But floor will always round down, okay? So, you know, 4.99999 is 4, okay? So let's give this a try. Okay, so now, oh, this is star 0, or 1, really, right? And this is star number 2, or 1, 2, 3, four. 
right? And then I can go one, okay? So there you go. So now we're doing pretty good, right? So now from here, we can take this value that we've got and then convert it into a number of stars to display. We'll do that in the next video. Okay, so thanks for watching.